Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you with that uh, I want to show you that Benny with Alpine Stitch I like it texture very much. I finished that Benny with reverse single crochet. I love it. I love the color transition. I uh, give my yarn details in the video. It's I bought that from the Papatia cake. You can make it with another uh, that colorful yarn or only one color you can make it you can make it here brim i don't prefer that i want to make i want to finish like that i think it's uh, different and good i like it and i don't use pompon on it you can use also if you want uh, thanks for your watching and thanks for your subscribing and support to me. Thanks for your uh, kind comments. I give all the details in the video. If you have any questions, please leave me comments and don't forget subscribe to my channel. If you're ready, we can start to crochet our beautiful Benny. Let's start to crochet. Uh, this time I will use my Benny. That's chunky cake, 100% of premium acrylic, and it's 150 grams, 275 meters, and 300 yards. I want to use that yarn in my penny. Uh, let's start with a magic ring. I will use 6 millimeter hook. Make a magic ring, grab the yarn, and chain 3. Count as a double crochet. Make 15 more double crochet in that uh, magic ring. We start our Benny from the top. 3, 4, Seven, eight. I finished that and I have 16 double crochet now take them to yarn together for not opening this hole again and insert in here and chain 3 then yarn over and insert into the same stitch and make one more double crochet we are increasing our uh, top of that head so we will make two double crochet in every stitch make two double into the next one two double into the next one two double at the end of that round we have 32 double crochet I finish that round two and insert into the first chain three stop and join with a slip stitch. Now we are on the third round chain three and count as a double crochet. This is first one. This time round three we will make one uh, stitch double crochet. One stitch, two double crochet. One and two. Next one, one. Next one, two. Next is one. Next is two. We finish that round three. At the end of that round, we have 48 double crochet. I finished that and turn to you. I finished that third round and I want to give you measurements. That's 11 cm. If you make uh, this for child, that's enough and you can start the pattern. But we will make one more round. But I will want to uh, say again, if you use same quality of yarn 
me of me and same hook okay don't forget that you can uh, growing up your top with your uh, yarn and hook together fourth round chain three and this is count as a first double crochet insert into the next stitch and make one double crochet insert into the next make two double crochet so we will make one one and two this time like that one double one double and the third one two double at the end of that round you have 64 double crochet and we start to make our pattern I finished that fourth round and I have 64 double crochet insert into the first stitch and join with a slip stitch now lose that loop and we start to pattern insert my hook from the first double crochet of previous row front to back down front then take this loop in it and chain three and count as a front post double crochet yarn over insert into the next stitch and make a usual double crochet yarn over insert into the next one and make a front post yarn over insert into the next one and make a double insert into the next and make a front post yarn over insert next stitch and make a usual double crochet yarn over insert into the next and make a front post that round like that one front post one double I finish that and turn to you I come at the end of that round double crochet make a front post last one is double crochet and join with a slip stitch that first front post chain one and insert into the not count that and insert into the same stitch and make a single crochet then make a single crochet in every each stitch that second round like that make a single I finish that and turn to you. Finish that single crochet round and insert into the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now chain three and count as a double crochet, but now uh, we will make a double crochet on the that uh, front post on that front post make a front post on the double crochet we insert our hook yarn over skip that single crochet round and insert into the previous rows double crochet and make a front post double crochet yarn over insert into the next single crochet and make a double crochet yarn over insert your hook from the previous rows double crochet and make a front post double crochet then insert into the next single crochet and make a double crochet make a front post from the previous row make a double crochet in to the next stitch that round that round we will make one front post one double but double on the single crochet front post on that double crochet of previous row that's the rule it's so easy you can make it easily front post and make a double crochet into the next stitch make a front post from that double make a double on that single crochet 
I finish that round and turn to you. You remember this round we start with a double crochet chain three we count as a double crochet so we come to the end with front post insert chain three stop and join with a slip stitch now that round single crochet round chain one and insert into the same stitch and make a single crochet then make a single crochet in every each stitch Finish that and turn to you. I come to the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. Now we will repeat the first round. You will see this is the uh, our single crochet. We ignore that. Okay, now and we look at here. Here is a double crochet. So lose that loop, insert that double crochet of previous row, take this loop like that and chain three and count as a front post double crochet you see in the previous row next stitch is a front post double crochet so yarn over and we will make in the that single crochet stitch make a double crochet yarn over look at here here is a double crochet on previous row so we will make a front post on it yarn over and look at here next stitch is a front post so we will make in that single crochet stitch a double crochet always we will make a double on front post front post on double but between them always a single crochet round don't forget that you will repeat that four round until which size you want you will crochet that your Benny I will crochet mine after turn to you how much centimeter I crocheted and how many rows I will tell you I finish that and turn to you after we will make the brim part okay let's crochet our Benny and turn to you I finish my Benny I love it you can see that I love it absolutely I want to give you measurement from the top I crochet 19 centimeter and it's seven and a half inches okay I finished that my crocheting with double and the front post uh, round not single crochet round okay i don't want to make here rib part but if you want to make rib part you can make uh, one uh, front one back or two front two back which size you want you can crochet with that but i want to make here normally we will crochet to that side but i want to crochet to the that um, back side I tell you like that that back side I insert the back stitch grab the yarn and make a single crochet insert into the next stitch grab the yarn and make a single insert into the next grab the yarn make a single so we will make reverse single crochet okay insert into the next grab the yarn and make a single so we finish it like that I want to uh, make it closer insert into the next stitch grab the yarn make a single not crochet that side we uh, go back go to the back side okay insert next grab yarn make a single insert next grab yarn make a single it's looking like that 
I crochet like that that round and finish my beni. I come at the end of that round, insert into the last stitch, make here last single and join with a slip stitch. We take this loop like that. Chain one and cut my yarn. And hide this tail. You can see the texture, and this is the last row. R, I think it's beautiful, don't you think? This is the top. We finish our beni. Hope you like it. I love it very much. It's color transition and the effect that texture I like it so much I don't want to put here a pom-pom but if you want you can use here uh, we finish the last touch is beautiful if you have any questions please leave me comments and don't forget subscribe to my channel you can reach me on Instagram on Facebook and on Pinterest as the same name crochet with Gigi Hope to see you in new videos. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.